You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solence. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. Why did you grant her trial by combat? Never waste a potential resource. A trained assassin who demonstrated fortitude and amorality? The Empire could have utilized her skills. Now, Devatek, the failed warrior, why grant his wish for a trial by combat? I did it out of respect for his service. He used to be a potent warrior. We don't have time to honor yesterday's accomplishments. Devotech was an utter waste of space. Once something is no longer useful, it should be eradicated. Remember that. Now, the last prisoner, the Forger. Letting him go was highly questionable. Explain yourself. It's folly to waste time tormenting an innocent man. Innocent or not, he leaves here with first-hand knowledge of our facilities and procedures. It's potentially compromising to have him floating about the galaxy. You must always be thinking and considering every angle. Aside from a strong and skilled sword arm, that will be what impresses Darth Barriss the most. In each situation, you fail to find the path of the thinking Sith. If we have any hope of you supplanting Vemrin in Darth Barriss's eyes, you must improve quickly. Excuse me if I have yet to achieve perfection. Perfection might be the only thing that saves you. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barriss will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you. You think that's enough information? How about you tell me about this beast? All you need to know is that it's ferocious and bloodthirsty, and in no way is it a trial for a normal acolyte. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marco Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. You are little more than a child, but you will grow quickly on this world. Be gone for now.
Look who's here. Remember me? Get to the point. Vemrin thought I should follow up on our earlier discussion. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. No! Hold up! Hold up! Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So... strong. I don't want to die. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Oh, you won't see me again. I promise. <laughs> we must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Corriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Do you think I'm ready for this? It doesn't matter what I think. Ready or not, you must face him now. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Consider me warned. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. There, Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? News sure does travel fast. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Vemrin. We'll kill him for you. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> so, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I will not stoop to Vemrin's level. No. No, of course not. You're too smart. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I'm not interested. Sorry. Let us prove ourselves to you. Spar with us, then decide if we have the skills to benefit you in this endeavor. I don't have time for games. Oh, it won't take long. A few passes and it'll be obvious how impressive we are. Come on, boys. Time to show our stuff. Oh. oh! You still took all four of us apart. This changes everything. From what I hear, Vemrin's every bit your physical equal. If we can't even hold up sparring against you, we'll never be able to kill him. I agree, you should steer clear of Vemrin. Well, this has been quite the sobering experience. Thanks for setting us straight. I don't get it. Are we going to kill somebody or not? No, Tino. And I think we ought to rethink this whole Sith training thing, hmm? Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. 
This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vimran. I see the upstart, but no sign of Douglas. Clemrel, Vimran, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemran, supplicant? It seems that way. I'm not sure why he's so bothered by me. And why shouldn't he be? Vemran has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand... Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your warblade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. It was never my intention to offend. But it is offensive to be presented with an acolyte who doesn't even have a rudimentary understanding of what it means to be Sith. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith code. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. I do not like the idea of killing him, but I'll do it if I must. I do not make requests, supplicant. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him.